All right, yeah, so I know a lot of you got issues with the badge system. Some of you feel like the progression on badges are just going too slow, or for that matter, don't progress at all. I've heard complaints from players saying that they grind so much to progress their badges, but could instantly lose a badge level simply from playing a game and not popping off a particular badge. Firstly, whether you like or dislike the badge system, sound off in the comments section. Your feedback will definitely be appreciated. In this video, I wanted to share some thoughts from the 2K dev perspective and how they think you guys should approach the badge system on 2k24 we finna get right into it y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can as you guys know i am going no money spent for nba 2k24 the entire annual cycle and the struggle is real i mean i gotta save up vc just to get a pair of sneakers out there it's tough but when it comes to the fun factor oh lordy i'm having fun out there so in the background what you guys are looking at is a bunch of online games that i played in the rec center and this with my overall being anywhere from a 63 to a 69. And this partly, if not mainly due to me running with some good players. If you guys are looking for good players to run with, come on out and join our Discord. The link for Discord will be in the description below. Now, in regards to badge progression slash regression, we're going to review a few tweets from one of the devs from 2K. Zach Timmerman sent out this tweet saying, while we already had a win modifier that increased badge progression after winning games, we just increased it in PvP modes, player versus player modes, should hit your game tomorrow. And that was sent out on the third team. So you guys should be experiencing a higher level of progression. If you're not, sound off in the comment section. I'd definitely like to hear from you. It seems like 2K is trying to hear you out and make some adjustments to the game. So that covers badge progression. But now let's talk about badge regression. A lot of y'all feel like, you know, you lose your badges too quickly after grinding to get them to a certain level. And for those players i referenced this tweet from zach timmerman saying you're not gonna lose a badge in one game for deviating from your normal way of play unless you're at or near the bottom of the meter you may lose progress but you gain back much more by going back to your style the very next game now i've personally heard a lot of complaints from players saying that they're losing progress way faster than they're gaining progress and i'm pretty much trying to bridge the gap here because if something's getting lost in translation the developers are thinking one thing while the community is actually experiencing another and that's what we want to help clear up again your feedback in the comments section would definitely be helpful some players feel like it's a tedious task to constantly monitor your badge progression and whether or not badges actually progressing or regressing and for those players i want to reference this reply from zach timmerman nivlim said oh let me make sure i keep an eye on my badges every few minutes make sure i don't lose them is that what it's really come to and to help you guys better understand how 2k thinks you guys should be approaching badges zach timmerman responds saying no just play basketball your badges will work out as they should this is the whole idea he goes on to say but if you care to dissect and micromanage your badge Badges, the meters are there for you to do so so 2k is basically saying go ahead out there don't even think about badges just play your game and let the badges kind of pile on as they should but if you guys feel there's something broken within the system of progression and regression then 2k definitely needs to know that they're probably out there thinking that you guys are doing fine getting a suitable amount of progression i have personally been playing the game every day since its release and i have yet to get a silver badge Badge. But to piggyback off of what Zach Timmerman referenced, I just go out there and I play the game. I don't even concern myself with badges. I'm more concerned about upgrading my overall, getting my attributes up so I can compete at a higher level out there. And I understand the experience may be different for you, especially if you paid that money to get your player up to par, increasing his attributes. So you're expecting badges to follow. I guess one of the key questions is how important are badges? How noticeable is the impact when you start increasing these badge levels. In my opinion, I think what the 2K devs fail to realize is that they have incorporated a badge system for years that had players heavily reliant upon what these badges offered each individual player. So ideally, each player is thinking, if I get this badge to this level, then I could actually do this move or I could add this type of shot to my shooting arsenal. The old badge system has become a part of 2K culture, so it's definitely going to be a long transition 
before we just go out there and just play the game, not concerned with badges. And for the players that are concerned with badge levels and their progression, I wouldn't count that as micromanaging your badges. For me, ideally, from my experience in 2K, I would just see that as when am I gonna be able to open up my game? As what we've come to learn playing 2K, as you increase your badge levels, you can do a lot more things on the court. If the 2K dev team is attempting to insinuate that you can do the same thing without badges that you can do with badges, then what's the point of having badges in the first place? The point is badges have an impact on the game. So naturally, players are gonna heavily monitor their badges and badge levels. But for me personally, having a no money spent playthrough, increasing my badge levels just aren't one of my top priorities right now. Maybe 2K is onto some. Maybe we should just go out there and play the game. I'm definitely curious to hear your feedback. Y'all sound off in the comment section below. If you guys are tired of running with randoms and you're looking for players to run with on NBA 2K, come on out and join our Discord. We'd love to have you. The link for Discord will be in the description below. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K24 news, information, and updates coming your way. Drop a like and drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all.